Hello, uh, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I'm still a targeted individual. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to mention. Uh, the other thing somebody said was, I can't wait until you stop identifying yourself as a victim. And yes, I, I agree wholeheartedly with that statement. Uh, unfortunately, I can't quite see that happening for, I mean, alright, let's put it this way. Yes, it is possible to completely switch around the mind and the perception of how you view your reality. Um, one could clearly say one is a survivor of victimization or torture, or, you know, uh, <clears throat> that one is, uh, you know, blessed and appointed by the Lord to, to, you know, whatever you want to make up, whatever story you want to tell yourself, however you want to couch that your perceived reality <clears throat> is, is okay. Just like you could turn pain into something enjoyable. Uh, some people manage to do that. Some people are already wired that way. Um, there are people who enjoy sadness. It's comfortable. They like, you know, others like to hurt themselves. Unfortunately, there's those who like to hurt others. And that is interpersonal violence. It is victimization. Even if the quote, victim, quote, survivor, fights back, uh, does everything in their power to stop the attacks or attack, uh, that's the other crucial issue, is um, a rape victim, a mugging victim, uh, is subjected to one, hopefully, abusive, traumatic situation. Uh, people who have survived or are living through, uh, say, satanic rituals abuse or pedophilic abuse, uh, a human trafficking and slavery for sexual enslavement these are ongoing traumas just like the combat uh, fighters the, the soul dyers who are in the front lines with the bullets flying kill or be killed they too are under repeated traumatic continual traumatic experience and there is little time for healing when you are hyper vigilant and you know, attending to survival. Whether you think of yourself as a victim or you think of yourself as a survivor can have a lot to do with how you perceive the reality around you and the actions you take, self-empowerment, etc. Uh, one thing to note though, that the experiential evidence I have of what is being done and has been done to us is designed specifically to disempower the individual, to reduce self-esteem, uh, to dig up any and all character flaws, guilt, shame, uh, all of this, and bring it to the surface while forcing upon the individual a derealization and depersonalization through repeated exposure to hallucinogenic drugs through covert means. Um, I think that anyone who is even slightly versed in in psychology and has read through the DSM and has experienced this or not, I mean, you know, a thoughtful person could design a program to destroy the foundations of any individual. Uh, if you look at cathartic and uh, cathartic paradigm shift, forced cathartic paradigm shift through experiential trauma and, and uh, you know uh, taking away of stimulus or overstimulating this is what is done in uh, magic in Freemasonic ritual in in uh, the I forget the name of them the the Indian black magic guys uh, voodoo this is one of the things that is used and it's also used in traumatic mind control so Calling myself a victim, a targeted individual, I, I, I'm being victimized, yes, but I'm not, I'm a targeted individual, yes, I'm an individual, and there are others who have me in their sights, 
and uh, you know have focused their energies, their efforts, their money, their logistics, their mind power, their technology on for whatever purpose, me. And uh, you know, I think you can extrapolate from that. Uh, you know, the experimental purposes and the, the testing of theorems, etc., uh, on a certain segment of the population is done all the time. And uh, we're in an accelerated time of this. Um, that's really what I wanted to say. Um, by calling myself a targeted individual, I am identifying with the thousands or perhaps tens or hundreds of thousands of other uh, victims of this crime against humanity and I feel personally that that is an empowering thing because that class is growing rapidly uh, whether you know it or not. If you look at the incidence of Alzheimer's and, and uh, other diseases that could be well caused by organisms or heavy metal toxins, uh, I think my point will be borne out. Anyway, that's uh, my two cents. Thanks for listening and giving me a place to share. God bless you all.